Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, today I want to go through analysis views. Uh, analysis views are integral in uh, many of the reporting that we do. Um, by themselves, they provide some reporting. So I just want to highlight this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as long as the account schedule one or the charts one, uh, but it might be a couple of parts to this video. So uh, right now I'm logged in here as the accounting manager and I want to go into journals and uh, go into the general journal and actually enter a few entries in here. So just to highlight how we post the, uh, the dimensions. In one of the videos that we did, we actually collapsed the um, one of the revenue accounts into dimensions. And I'm going to use the same account right now. So it's account number 4450. As you can see, I reduced the dimensions from uh, you know, 44, 100, 200, and 300, the domestic EU and export, into just one, which is 44,050. Uh, but I, what I want to do is I actually want to post um, uh, more entries with two dimensions. So I only had one dimension before, and now I want to show you how it actually works with two dimensions. So if I say here 2500 uh, 25,000 uh, and we had some AR account we would uh, post it against which was um, other receivables so here we have sale of 25,000 going to other receivables and I can set the sales channel up as a dimension this is something we had provided in previous videos uh, and I have created here domestic EU and export as possible dimensions. So I'll just do domestic. But I also added here business group. So I have another dimension. And this is just to emphasize, I can have as many dimensions as I like in the general journal. I actually have it also in um, purchase journal, sales journals, sales orders, purchase orders, all kinds of documents. Um, and here I'm going to say that this is a home related sale. And I'm going to create another transaction. Uh, negative 50,000. That's going to be the same. It's also going to be domestic, but this is going to be industrial. Right? And then finally, I am going to create one more for negative 75,000. And that's to the business group office. Um, and then, well, not one more, since we're going for this, negative 100,000, up the ante. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pick something else in domestic. I'll pick export and industrial, right? So I've been posting here towards same GL account, but different dimensions. And the idea is in analysis views that I might be able to break these up and take a, take a look at them individually. So this is all on 25th of January, 2018. I just go ahead and post this. Yes, successfully posted, very good. Now, if I go into analysis views, so I go here into analysis and analysis views. I have a bunch of them already done uh, and I'm just gonna create a new one here. It's just gonna be coffee mark two. I think I have one already in there. Um, so I'm creating a new analysis view card. And when I do that, I can set up all kinds of filters. I can have it compressed by day or by week, etc. I can have a starting date. And actually I want to put the starting date as 010118. Uh, I can include budgets. I can update on posting, which I had shown before. So I think that's uh, probably a good idea to set in. But one of the more important things about setting up this card is picking which dimensions you're going to show. 
and here you can only pick four so you gotta pick four dimensions that are gonna be displayed in this analysis view and that is also important because you can connect this analysis view to account schedules or to charts so you can set up different types of analysis views with different types of dimension combination in here so what I'm interested in looking at is the um, sales channel of course which I had created and um, the business group which I was selecting and uh, so if I set this up like that I'm gonna actually include budgets and update this so when I hit update you can see that this actually goes through the entries and creates the analysis view entries which are the combinations of postings um, sort of in detail so you can think about that this card is actually storing transactions um, there are the the entries or the dimension entries uh, for all of the transactions posted okay so let me just go out of this and I have here coffee mug 2 so I've created this and updated this now if I go into edit analysis views I get this and I can say here okay what do you want to show us lines and what do you want to show us columns and the default is GL account and period but I'm gonna go ahead and change this um, and actually show the sales channel as lines and the business group as columns now if I take a look at this at this moment uh, let's just do view by year so we get everything in and now I'm looking at the entire year of 2018 uh, this is probably going to come out with zeros if I don't put some GL filters because all of the GL accounts that we are hitting with dimensions we're hitting debit and credit and they all zero out obviously debit credit so if I filter on a particular account then I'm gonna see the actual amounts so that is very important and which account I'm filtering on of course the new account that I had created the um, 40050 44050 right here um, now this should be set up correctly uh, and now I could hit show matrix and yes we do get values so here we can see that uh, we have some postings on domestic for home industrial and office apparently there's an intercompany there I didn't see anyways um, and then I have one posting on export for a hundred thousand now you can also notice that the total amounts are different than the amounts added together over here and why is that well the reason is because I had posted before without specifying the business group here so I have some postings in here that have blank on business group and uh, if we go deeper into dimensions uh, in some of these videos I'll probably mention how we should be setting dimensions up so that will not happen but in any case you can see here that we can break up the data according to the dimensions we put in in this matrix now in my opinion this matrix is kind of cool you can see the data you can play around with it you can actually take a look at the actual amounts and the budgeted amounts and then variance to that in this matrix uh, obviously you can flip the sign around show it like that um, etc but the real power in my mind is not necessarily in this analysis view and the matrix but rather the entries that come out of this which can be used in account schedules to set it up even nicer uh, in the column layouts like we did before with uh, in one of the videos but it's important to understand what analysis views is all about so even though it's, it's showing us a matrix in here and you can see the data here it is technically also maintaining all of the data entries that you need to show them in any other reporting you can see that by going into the actual analysis view card 
and seeing that data is actually updating every time you post. Um, and I hope uh, that explains analysis views uh, a little bit. We'll probably continue even more on this, but uh, thank you for listening. Until next time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.